Diabetes is the seventh most common cause of death in the United States. 16% of adults suffer from the disease and over 100,000 people will die every year from it. It's widely known that treatment for diabetes is wildly expensive in the United States, coming in at an average of over $1,000 a month. But what's lesser known is that the United States is actively blocking the export of a Cuban miracle treatment that could save tens of thousands of lives. As the United States was setting records for having the worst COVID response in the world, the U.S. was also quietly setting another record annual diabetes deaths. In 2020, the U.S. recorded over 100,000 diabetes deaths for the first time and exceeded 100,000 again the next year in 2021, making diabetes the seventh most common cause of death in the United States. 37 million people in the United States have diabetes and almost 100 million have prediabetes, which are cases on the brink of a type 2 diagnosis. One of the most common diabetes-related complications is the diabetic foot ulcer, affecting up to one quarter of diabetics at some point in their lifetime. Diabetic foot ulcers are open sores or wounds that develop on a diabetic's foot due to nerve damage and decreased blood flow. These wounds can worsen and get infected and, after significant deterioration, require amputation. Each year, there are around 140,000 diabetes-related amputations in the U.S. One study found that 11% of patients that underwent a major amputation died within 30 days of their amputation. Within 90 days, that number jumped to 18%. After five years, the mortality rate has been estimated to be as high as 80%. There's no question among health experts that diabetes is nothing short of a crisis, and many have called for a full-on federal mobilization to tackle the issue. Even Joe Biden promised billions of dollars of diabetes research funding if he was elected, something that he has yet to deliver on. Given the urgency of this crisis, you'd expect the U.S. government to scour every corner of the world for a cure. And not just to look for a cure, but to cooperate with any country that's pursuing one to help them reach it faster. But that's actually the exact opposite of what's happening. The United States, which has enforced an illegal and universally condemned economic blockade of Cuba for over 60 years, is blocking hospitals and pharmaceutical companies in the U.S. from importing a new Cuban miracle treatment that reverses the effects of diabetic foot ulcers. The treatment, which is called Hebroprot P, reverses the foot deterioration caused by diabetes, thereby saving a patient's leg from amputation. This treatment, which has been used in Cuba since 2007, is prevented from even undergoing clinical trials in the United States due to financial and travel restriction provisions in the U.S. blockade of Cuba, despite having the potential to save tens of thousands of lives in the U.S. based on results of Cuba's own use of the treatment. We spoke to Drs. Gerardo Guillen and Manuel Raices, two leading scientists at CIGB, the Cuban biomedical firm that created this treatment. So Heberprot P is a product, it's a biological product, based on EGF, epidermal growth factor. This is a molecule that stimulates the growth and multiplication of cells. So the indication in general is related to wound healing. Ulcers that compromise bone, compromise tendon, ulcers that are necrotized, so that is impossible to heal with other products in the market. So the frequent treatment for that is just amputation. So, um, the people, they uh, will uh, leave your, your leg and in two years, those people will be with the same problem in the second leg and after five years, that people will die. This complicated ulcer cannot be healed with other therapies. That is why we are talking that this is an exclusive product. And we managed to heal in more than 85% of cases this very complicated ulcer that before have no solution. The people that are treated with this kind of uh, biologicals, for they, for they it's a miracle. So, because they, that they, they, they are so ill that the day one is to get their leg cutted. And when they, now that there is a treatment that can save their life, and they start to um, get the treatment, and in a couple of weeks they start to see the improvement, and in two, three, four weeks they, they are their usual healing. They could, couldn't imagine how one month before they want their leg cutted. 
So, and they go back to life. Instead of cooperating with Cuba to develop this treatment, the United States has been actively sabotaging it by enforcing their blockade even against Cuba's medical sector. Here's how devastating that policy is. Many people uh, listen and hear about the, the blockade and they think that this is only a problem of trade with the United States. And the blockade is deep, deep and broad than that. For us, for example, we are not allowed to buy any uh, region in the United States. We are not allowed to buy any equipment in the United States. But not only the United States, in all the companies around the world that have capital investment from the United States and they share the ownership with the United States, we are not allowed to uh, buy any goods. And even if you manage to buy from through other ways, for example, to receive a donation for other laboratories, etc., doesn't work because uh, in our days the technology is so sophisticated, it's so complicated that uh, you need permanent man maintenance from a specialist from the company, from technician specialized on those equipment. Even we have limited resources, but even having the resources, you cannot spend, you cannot buy the goods, you cannot uh, pay for the service, you cannot pay for the uh, publication, for the registration in a meeting. That is a big problem. And we are ready to collaborate, we are ready to negotiate, we are ready to supply the product. But the American law doesn't allow that. An American company also wants, of course, a medical doctor. They want to save their patient. They want to conduct clinical trial. They want to test the product. They are not allowed to do that. Despite the fact that the U.S. continues to sabotage their work, doctors Guillen and Raices told us that, above everything, they pity diabetics in the U.S. who are suffering and dying prematurely because their government denies them this treatment. How, how you are going? to block a neighbor that is trying to solve the same problem that you are trying to solve. And they are going to bring a benefit, a black and white benefit. And the only thing you need is forget about political speech and focus on talking about clinical trial in a fair way. Forget about politics. And taking into account that U.S. with 300 34 million people, have about 34 million of people suffering from diabetes and about 2 million of ulcer per year and, and about 120,000 amputations. Just by showing this proof in one clinic, in five years we will be able to extend probably to half of the clinic in the United States and we will, we will be able to reduce the relative risk of amputation in the United States to the half. Most of those people involved directly in blocking this situation, they smile. They go for a champagne, they go for a turkey. But with this application, they are affecting more than 60,000 people that could save the limb per year. And by being amputated this year, because they do not have access to this therapy, for sure they're going to die in the next five years. And some day, and some some night I wake up at night thinking how many of these 120,000 people that every year they go for amputation are Republicans, are Democrats, that they don't like Cuba, are people that are not interested with Cuba, and for not supporting a movement that try not to privilege Cuba, but just to treat us as a normal neighbor, they're going to lose the link and they're going to die. It made me so sad, you have no idea.